Strive to assure early success. Build confidence by making sure your puppy believes he can do anything. I prefer throwing puppy marks for the little ones on a surface similar to a putting green. I want them to hunt as little as possible right now. When they're flying out there with confidence at four months of age or so, I'll arrange for them to work just a little bit harder for their birds and bumpers. Educate your helpers early as to how to throw and how to help the pup find a bird if he's having trouble with it, how to stay alert and so forth. You'll find that a well-trained bird boy can be a very effective dog trainer. I want to talk for just a moment about the difference between play objects and retrieve objects. And I know it's popular for a lot of people in a lot of settings to have your retriever picking up and carrying around just about everything. I'm not a big fan of that. These are play objects, and I think it's just fine for a puppy to have something to run around with and wrestle with and chew on. It's perfectly fine. They need to know that it's okay. And these are great. They're available at any place that has pet supplies. But I don't use them for retrieve objects. What I want to do is focus a puppy on retrieving what he's going to be retrieving. And here's the difference. I start out on a nice clean paint roller they're about the size and shape of a bumper, but it starts them out on these. They're much lighter, they're much softer. Almost all dogs at all ages get along with these really well, and especially puppies. Plus, these just naturally tend to encourage good mouth habits. You're gonna see that. I'm gonna show you a puppy carrying one of these around, sit, hold, deliver, and all that, that he's not ever really been taught to do. It's just been cultivated. It's been cultivated because it's easy to cultivate feels good to carry these around, so they just do it. And I encourage that. I introduce them to the commands, even though at this stage they're not really commands. They're not being trained to do it yet. It's just an act that's being cultivated. And you'll see that. When we get into basics later on, although I will introduce these to the puppy, I'm not going to do much work with bumpers until they're force-fetched. But they are going to be introduced to them, and they're going to be retrieving them. We'll show you how to do that. Introduction to bumpers is just a simple little phase. It's a conditioning process, and it's really easy. Once you've got them going on these, they're going to love these. One thing I also want to point out before we're done here, though, is that plastic bumpers, even these that are a little bit soft, which I prefer, not too soft, but soft so that they'll be comfortable for the pup, the pup's still going to get a little slobbery mouth and these things get slick and they learn very early on to handle them badly. So I don't spend much time with them until they have skill that I can use through force fetching to teach them to fetch and hold by the center, which is what I want. I want a good, responsible attitude toward handling birds and bumpers. Right now, I'm just going to foster that in an easy way with something nice and light, nice and soft. Paint rollers. <laughs>